July 21st, 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Thilo and I are going to do Ballet 3, Lesson 3, Center. So we're going to start first position. Yep, and we're going to drop that tailbone down in the back. Drive that belly button back towards our spine. Reach our head up towards the ceiling and send energy down through the bottoms of our feet. We're going to hold that. We're going to prepare seven and eight. We're going to take a demi-plie and stretch. Demi-plie and stretch. And grind. It's not so easy in the center to hold. Did you go here? To hold. Remember, the, the ending of your plie is the most important part. Then we're going to releve. Balance and balance and balance and balance. Lower. Second position. Same thing. Demi. Demi. Grand. Releve. Lower. Right foot in front. Same thing. Demi. Demi. Grand. In fifth position. Very difficult. Releve. It's not a suit, just a releve. Same thing in the left. Your counts will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The most important part. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's when you transition. All right, let's do it with the music. Don't forget to breathe. Also, especially to exhale, working all those lines of energy. Drop that tailbone. B B B. So we want to make sure that your, the middle of your ankle 
stays aligned right here in between your second and first toe. We don't want the middle of your ankle to be aligned over your pinky toe. I'll show you what that means in the camera. So if we're looking at it straight on, we want the middle of the ankle to be lined up right here over your, your first and second toe. If it's lined up over your pinky toe, it looks like this. That's a sickled foot. And the risk for injury with a sickled foot is pretty high in ballet. So we do not want to do that. Plus, it doesn't look classical. So let's see. Let's see. Go ahead and roll it. A little more towards your feet. Yes. Now do it wrong. Go ahead and roll it in. Let it sickle and see what that feels like. That's wrong. Yeah, that now fix it. Now do it right. It could be even more over your big toe. Yes. And the fact that you're doing this work without holding on to something actually teaches your body how to do it without holding on to it. We could probably very easily come to the bar and be very comfortable figuring out where it's because we're holding on here. It is important that you try and practice these skills without holding on to the bar. Okay. So now we're just going to do a little um, plie, stretch, relevé, lower, plie, stretch, relevé, lower, plie, relevé, plie, relevé, and jump to get ready for what comes next. So we'll just kind of follow the leader of this one. What first position with your hands on your hips, Sam? Yeah. What does open? Sorry? What does open? I didn't understand. What does open? What does, oh, I should be relevé.
time, and I want you to repeat it back to me. How does this go? Okay. So your first foot closes where it comes from. Your first foot will change the second time. Your second foot will close where it came from. Nope, this will be your second foot. Yep, close where it came from. And your second foot will close where it came from again. Yes. Then we will come right forward and back. Then we repeat the pattern. Now this is your first foot. As you repeat. So your first foot will close where it came from. Second time through, that first foot will change. Your second foot will close where it came from both times. And then we come right forward and back and feet. Does that make sense? Yeah. So close where you came from first, second, and change. First, first. Close where you came I from. Heard second, second, second. No, wait. First. First. First, first, back, second, second. Yes, come ready. And, and when you come ready, we are starting over, we're resetting, and then we will have a new first foot. Okay? Which foot in front can you start? Pardon? Which foot in front? Uh, we'll start with, so your first, first foot will be your right. So your preparation, you'll go seven and eight. You're going to releve. Close front, where you came from. Releve, close back. Here comes your second foot. Releve, close front. Releve, close front. And come right forward, come right back. We're ready to go with the reset. Close where you came from. This is the only time it's different. Close where you came from. Close, close front, come right. Let me show you the rhythm of this. Also, 
helping you feel what it feels like to have your shoulders and your hips and your ankles all lined up in one vertical line. Okay. It is time. Oh, yes. HK Sote to the floor. Do you see it? After pirouettes? That's how I grow. Okay, I'll show you the combination. Where is we'll it? I don't see it. Okay, I'll show you the combination. Oh, you it should be okay. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, and an eight. Fourth, second,
So that puzzle only works if you change after you jump to second. Okay? Okay. What's next on the list, Thilo? Can they turn? Ooh. One of your favorites. What locomotor? Locomotor means you're traveling through space. So let's do some shiny turns and then we can do locomotor. I don't think we need to review this. I'm just going to give you some music.
this is down stage, and this is up stage. Yeah. So, yes, good. Let's do it together. Eight. Balance, balance, tombe cross in front. Can you turn? Sauté, uh uh, nope. So when you finish, you're just going to slide that front foot forward, and that's going to be your sauté. Sauté, sauté, run, 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 brush, leap. Yeah, make sure you run behind before you put your weight to it. That's it. Good. Yeah. Let's try it again. This is an intermediate step. Five and a, six and a, seven and a, eight. You balance, eight, balance, eight, step, cross, cross, turn. Saute and saute and run, 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 brush me. Okay? Can we turn the music? Can we take a break? Oh, actually, this is our, our last thing. Uh, our last thing before reverence. So you, <laughs> you really listen to this below. This is a measure of how good your endurance has gotten. Is this the first time you thought about asking for a break? Yeah. And it's been almost, it's probably been more than 20 minutes. So that's pretty good. I don't expect that in 27 minutes. Yeah, okay, so almost 30 minutes. So let's do this. We'll rip around, we'll be done, and you can have the longest break ever. Okay?